The Pleiades Cluster is an open star cluster. Imagine back in time, a nebula, the remnants of previous stars. And of that nebula, certain gravitational fields cause matter to fall in and collapse and eventually form stars. Those stars are fairly close to each other. This is sometimes known as a star nursery. These stars are very close together because they formed in the same region, from the same material. And what's the effect of all of these now larger gravitational points upon each other, and indeed the surrounding space, and obviously as a result upon themselves? Due to the effect of the gravity within these fields, within these regions, they are repulsed from each other. So you have stars that spread out. They push away from each other. From their initial beginnings as a very close cluster to become a far more loose cluster. But why would the process end there? The answer, of course, is it does not. It continues. And it is confirmable that these stars within that cluster are of this kind at that phase, making them quite young. Younger than, for example, the solar system by a massive degree. According to professional scientists on this matter, the age of the Pleiades may actually be as little as over a hundred million years, maybe a couple of hundred million years at tops. And yet according to a great many New Ages, believers in the Palladians, intelligent life evolved, progressed, developed technology in a period which is in the scale of the universe and even the scale of our solar system so small it would make it practically impossible without some kind of divine interference. So what is the excuse of the new age when it comes down to this fact. And I call it a fact because it is testable and has been tested time and time again by actual scientists. So they say 200 million years at most. And the New Agers claim it's been there for billions of years. The scientists, they look at the stars and similar formations as well. There's not merely one group of scientists, but many who have studied these stars and similar formations. The New Agers, they sit in a dimly lit room or a candle lit meditation space and they go into a trance and then speak of the Palladians. Or they read a book written by a person who claims to have found the greater truth during their vision quests or by interaction with crystals or astral projection to higher realms of existence and knowledge. Which one of these groups, the scientist or the New Ager, is in fact in contact with a greater level of knowledge. The New Ager, in whichever form, cannot confirm their beliefs in any way, shape or form. Whereas what science provides is testable time and time again. 